Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host and today we're going to be talking about he owns his own dildo. So I'm going to give everyone a chance to log on and I'm also going to demonstrate to you all how to use the massage candle but that will be at the end of the live because I have to actually light it and I have to let it burn and I have to let it melt um while we have this discussion so while we are talking of course this is going to be lit and burning the whole time so that uh it can melt and i can show you how to use it so i'm gonna give everybody a chance to log on and this live really i mean you can ask questions if you want but this live is really going to be an educational live today because this is not going to be about a matter of opinion. But this live is going to be about me giving you the facts, okay? This live is going to be, um, in other words, today you're going to be my students. And sometimes what I learned was sometimes I was in class and certain things didn't necessarily apply to my life, right? Right? But it doesn't necessarily mean that it made my opinion right. It was just a matter of it being my opinion, my sexual preference, what I will do, what I won't do, and so on and so forth. But it didn't necessarily make the facts not be the facts. So today we're going to strictly talk about the facts, okay? Um, before I get started, let me give a shout out to More Creations for my earrings. A shout out to, oh my God, I want to remember her business, I Candy. Um, eye candy for the neck piece, for the snake neck piece. And this dress came from Plush Slay Boutique. So I want to give you um, all of their handles. I'll put them on there towards the end uh, if you want to shop with them. And for the people who want to actually send me uh, different things that you want me to wear, whether it be your earrings, whether it be your clothes or whatever it is, just DM me and you can always ship it to the store. And I don't mind um, wearing your stuff and, you know, basically introducing you to a broader audience. Okay, so let me get logged on because I see that everybody else is logging on. And I'm not even logged on yet, so let me get logged on. There we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so, y'all, he owns a deal up. I had someone that sent a very, very interesting question this morning. Oh, it was basically a screenshot of a conversation. And the guy basically said that, you know, hey, I want to get down with you sexually. Why are you sucking my dick? I, I want you to, um, to fuck me with my dildo. Like, I have my own dildo. And I want you to suck my dick. And I want you to fuck me with my dildo. Why are you sucking my dick? And the woman was just kind of taken back because... The message was just so blunt and she really didn't even see it coming. She said she'd been conversating with this man for seven months and nothing about him made her feel like he was gay or that he would be into that type of pleasure. But first of all, I want to talk about sexuality, okay? There are so many different types of sexualities, okay? But we're going to talk about two today. The two sexualities that we're going to discuss today is heterosexual relationships. We're going to talk about homosexual relationships and what exactly makes them different. Okay. Sexuality is nothing but what you are attracted to. Okay. You have some people that are bisexual. I mean, they're attracted to both. You know, you have some people that are, um, heterosexual means that they're attracted only to the opposite sex. And then you have homosexual, which is attracted to the same sex, okay? So now that we have the definition of the sexualities, we have the definition, right? Let's talk about sexual acts, okay? There are so many different sexual acts. I have had men to come into my store, and I'm going to be honest with you, they sound so ignorant to me. 
when they talking and it just lets me know that this is why I, I know God had to bless me with Spencer Parker because when you get to hearing all of that ignorant conversation, sometimes I just have to check out the conversation because it's just beyond me at this point. Like it's, it's really like way above me because I know when people feel how they feel, there's nothing you could tell them about the way they feel. I don't feel like women that use bullets, dildos, or vibrators are lesbians. I don't feel like people that utilize those types of stimulators and toys and enhancers are lesbian. I do not feel like because I own a dildo, a vibrator, a bullet, a wand, that I am a lesbian woman. I know that I'm not a lesbian woman because I'm not attracted to women. I'm only attracted to men. Which makes me a heterosexual woman. Okay? Just because you have a man that chooses to want to use a pocket pussy during sex, a mouth pocket pussy, a, a, a pussy shaped po pocket pussy, a hand shaped pocket pussy, because they come in all different types of shapes, colors, or whatever, because he chooses to use a toy. That does not make him a homosexual man. It doesn't. So I really want us to stop putting, because we to decide to bring in uh, all these different products and all this different stuff into the bedroom, that it has a way of changing our sexuality. Sexuality has nothing to do with anything other than what you're attracted to. If you are attracted to a woman, if you're a man, and you're attracted to a woman, and because you like to have certain sexual acts done, this is textbook. Just because you enjoy sexual acts, as long as it's being done by the person that you're attracted to, which is a woman, makes you a heterosexual man. This is textbook all day long. And what bothers me is so many people come into this store, and so many people inbox me, and so many people meet me, and they always say, oh, I love the type of work that you do. I always wanted to be in that industry. I always wanted to sell toys. I always wanted to do your type of work, but yet you won't even educate yourself on textbook. You will, you will lean to your own opinion versus being knowledgeable. How would you feel if you went to your doctor and your doctor who went to school to be knowledgeable said, well, oh, I only, I, I'm a, um, I'm a doctor, but I only service men because I ain't into women. I ain't into women. I don't want to touch your breast to see if they got a lump. That's gay. Listen to how you sound. There's no different than saying, well, I'm not attracted to women, but at the same time, I can service a woman client. How they sound? That sounds like you got all the sense in the world, meaning that I don't have to be attracted to you to service you, okay? You have men, and, and let me tell you something, down south, this ignorance is so, it's, the ignorance is so bad. So you have men that won't even go get their prostate checked because they feel like a doctor checking their prostate is gay. You willing to put your health on the line over an ignorant mentality. But the thing is, a lot of y'all women share the same ignorant mentality. Oh no, he want me to stick my finger in his ass? He gay. So when the male doctor got to stick his finger in his ass, that make him okay? Or that make him a man that's concerned about his health and he want to live and be here to be with his family? Get rid of them old slave ass mentalities. Learn to educate yourself so that when you get in groups and circles of people and you open your mouth up and you talk and you don't sound ignorant. My grandmother, Sylvia Palmer, always told me you never know a fool until they open their mouth. And that is the thing that she that has stuck with me my whole life. If you have the opportunity to educate yourself, do that and educate yourself. And when you talk, don't talk and sound ignorant and foolish. A man being with a woman 
having whatever type of sexual act that he or she chooses to have is a completely heterosexual relationship. Ain't nothing gay about that. And I just feel like down south, we throw that gay word around so much. All, everything is gay, 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 gay. And it's sickening. It is so sickening. It is so ignorant. And even if you choose to unfollow me, by all means, do that. If you choose to disagree, by all means, disagree. Because at the end of the day, I'm dealing with textbook. I'm dealing with facts. I'm dealing with everything that I have been taught as a, a sexual coach. Okay? I'm not saying you got to agree with it. I'm just saying the facts are the facts. And if you choose to educate yourself, then so many people wouldn't have to be living these alternate lifestyles. So let's talk about these alternate lifestyles. The lady was on the uh, page and she was basically talking about what it kind of took her back that the man had a dildo. And I just felt like I would much rather, I, I have more respect for a man that have his own dildo. And I'm going to tell you why. Because a man that has his own dildo, one, he's in tune with what he likes sexually. Two, he's taking the time to go and pick what it is that he likes. Meaning that he picked the size that he liked. He picked the color that he liked. He knew if he wanted it to just be a dildo. He knew if he, knew if he wanted it to vibrate. He knew all of those things about himself sexually. Okay? A lot of men end up going to be on the DL, Right? Meaning that they have they, they can't go to their woman and say that I want to be stimulated in this type of way because you're going to call them gay. So then they resort to going outside the relationship and go and pay women on back page to do the same thing that you can do at home. He ain't going to pay no other man to fuck him because he ain't a man. He ain't gay. He ain't a homosexual man. But he will go pay a prostitute to do these same services that you can do for him and he can live in his truth with this woman but he can't live in his truth with you because you won't allow him to. Because you want to put a label on him and say that he's gay and say that all of these derogatory things about him, you want to question his manhood because he wants to enjoy a certain type of sexual act because it's pleasure involved in it. I will never look down on a person or lose respect for a person who walks in their truth. If you're a person and you walk in your truth, I respect you more. Because there's so many people that don't walk in their truth. When you, I, I asked the question this morning and I said, if you had to pick a man, or if you had to like kind of do it all over again, what would be different about the person that you pick the next time? A lot of times we end up with people when we're younger Based on we grew up in the same neighborhood, we went to the same high school, we met at a job, and all of this type of stuff. We never really went off into the world and actually found us somebody that could possibly be for us. We just went along with what was around us at the moment. And, and that is true. Okay? That, that's facts. All right? Most of the men that I meet that are very open sexually have been in the military, most of them are very educated. Most of them have traveled the world. They have lived in other countries. They've seen other cultures and different ways of life. They're established. They have different, they have really great things going on with their life. They do. And we desire the lifestyles that these type of men can provide for us. But a lot of these type of men go out and find women of other races because black women are ignorant. When it comes down to sexuality, you want to know why he's over there with the white woman, why he's choosing a woman from another country that speaks differently and looks differently. It ain't because he ain't attracted to black women. It's just that he knows that a black woman cannot please him in the way that he wants to be pleased sexually without losing respect for him. He wants to be able to be a man and still be able to be respected in his relationship after you licked his ass. He wants to be able to be in a relationship and still be respected by you after you strapped up and fucked him or even if he don't want you to fuck him after you played with him with a stimulator, a toy, a bullet or whatever it is that y'all did in the bedroom. He still want to be able to walk on the side of you and have his respect as a man and black women will not allow that to happen. So therefore, a lot of good men are going out to other races because these women are more 
open-minded sexually and these women don't have an ignorant type of mentality. I know this video is going to rub a lot of women wrong. And I can, I'm, I'm completely prepared for that. But my job is to educate you. Now, suppose you meet a man and you really want to... what he is into sexually that's perfectly fine for you to not be into what he's into sexually but that does not give you the right to label him because you're not into what he's into sexually just because a person desires certain sexual acts does not give you the right to degrade them and even if a person chooses to be in a homosexual relationship it does not give you the right to degrade them either okay so we really have to get out of certain mentalities and we really have to grow as women and we have to grow as a people, period. We have to grow. I love this industry. This industry allows me to meet so many people on so many different levels. And I'm truly a person that does not judge. I'm actually, I was intrigued by the message that the man sent. I think I was more so intrigued because of his love of honesty. And for me, I'm a very mental person. And the thing is, I have to feel like you're being completely honest with me in order for me to be able to give myself to you completely. I have to be able to trust you with me. And in order for me to trust you, I have to feel like you're a trustworthy person. Therefore, you have to be an honest person. Now, let me tell you something. When it comes down to this topic, me and my husband, we are on total different opposite sides. But I completely respect his position to not want to be fonded with, licked on, penetrated, or whatever with his ass. But it does not mean that I'm not intrigued about the whole act itself. And if at some point in my life or our life that he decides to be more open to it, I will be glad to explore all of those options. And I will look at him no differently as a person, a man, or anything because I understand the difference between sexuality and a sexual act. I completely understand the difference. And I completely understand that when it comes down to sexual acts, it's all about each person getting what they need in the bedroom. And each person being fulfilled sexually in the bedroom. Okay? It looks like I have some questions. Let's see. Because I see a lot of y'all... Um, <laughs> a lot of y'all dropped off I guess you couldn't handle the truth and that's okay I, I, I completely understand but this is what I want you to do I want you to stop labeling because the thing is I want our men to, I want our men to live long healthy lives I do, I want them to live long healthy lives I want them to not be afraid to go to the doctor and get their prostate checked because they feel like they're going to be a punk or they're going to be labeled and all of this kind of stuff Men, let me, let me tell you something about men that are homosexual and men that so say like punks and all of this kind of stuff. Them men are attracted to men. They are attracted to men. I don't give a damn what they lay on the side of you and look like. I don't care how they carry themselves in the streets. I don't care if they pants sag. I don't care how much dope they sell. I don't care if they went to jail and they only got their dick sucked in jail by a man. He, he had to be attracted to a man in order for that dick to get up for that man. It was some type of sexual attraction that went on before the sexual act even came about, okay? So you can very well have men that are sexually attracted to women who enjoy exploring other options sexually, and it does not make them a gay man. This is textbook. I ain't arguing with you. You can put your opinion all you want to, but you can't change the facts. And let me tell you something. Y'all be looking up to Dr. Ruth and Dr. Sue and all of these other different people. The Lord done blessed you with it right here. Then blessed you with somebody that looked like you that could give you the knowledge. But I know that it's respected amongst those people when they say it. But when I say it, it's just like, oh, she on some other shit. No, I had the same training that they had. I read out the same medical books that they read. I read, out, I read the same medical journals that they read. I followed the same research that they followed. The only difference is I was willing to open my mind up and accept truth. And a lot of y'all women are so stubborn you refuse to open your mind up and accept truth. 
The truth is, I can accept a man telling me that I'm not into that sexually. But I also can accept a man telling me that he is into that sexually. It's no different than you coming up in here and buying you a fucking dildo, a wall bank, and putting it up on the wall back in the tooth and fucking yourself. That did not make you a lesbian woman. It did not. You just was trying to get you a fucking nut and you was enjoying yourself having solo play by yourself. It had nothing to do with your sexuality at all. It had nothing to do with who you were attracted to. You probably did the shit recorded and sent it to a man. When he got it, when he looked at it, then he said, oh, now she done turned herself out. She done flipped to the other side because now she liked them dildos and things. That's some ignorant shit. That ain't the way it goes. People have to have the freedom to be able to do the things that they want to do to be able to please themselves sexually. You have to allow people that type of freedom. Okay? Let's see. Okay. Based off of what others say, these helpers don't fucking read. I've been reading medical biology textbooks. I understand you. Me and Joe, I completely understand. And I understand that we all have different education levels. You know, and I'm not saying because I have a master's degree that I know everything. I'm not saying that because I've done extensive research over the years when it comes down to sexual health and wellness that I know everything. One thing that I know about this industry is you have to always be willing to learn. You have to always be willing to be willing to stretch your mind further than it has ever stretched before because sexuality is no one way to do something sexually. So you're constantly growing and learning in this industry. And a lot of times the reason people bedrooms can't get to the levels that they want their bedrooms to get to is because he know you looking at him funny. You know he looking at you funny. And if either one of y'all do anything out of the norm or what you consider social norm, each person questioning the other person about, well, what this mean now? It just means that y'all had a good fucking time in the bedroom. I just recently did a, a live breast examination with uh, Orrell Perkins. She was literally online showing me how to examine my breast. This woman was touching my breast. Did she become my woman? Because she touched me on my breast, did she become my woman? No, she did not become my woman. She remained my, pro she remained my nurse practitioner who was making sure that I was a healthy person. We got to get out of that. I know some women that be like, oh no, I ain't going to let no woman look in between my legs and get examined. That is the craziest shit that I never heard. You can save your life if you go to an appointment like that. Choose to save your life. Choose to educate your man so that he can save his life. Like this goes beyond the bedroom at this point. When you carry certain type of mental hangups, it impacts every aspect of your life. Okay? I'm not trying to convince nobody of nothing. All I'm trying to do is give you the facts so that when you go out into the world and you are meeting, let me tell you something. When you meet men that's educated, because a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all meet men, and, and don't take this the wrong way when I say this, a lot of y'all meet men that make good money because they work in the plants and stuff like that because they've been there so many years. But it doesn't mean that they have been educated. It does not mean that they've traveled abroad. It does not mean that they run in certain type of circles, okay? When you start elevating in life, you're going to start meeting other people who have elevated in life. And you can't come to the circle talking ignorant. Can't come to the circle talking ignorant. Because what happens is, what I told you, you never know a fool until they open their mouth. When you get to talking all that ignorant shit like that, you'll never be the one. But when you're a woman and you come off as very well-rounded, open-minded, uh, continue to want to learn, continue to be open to other people's ideas and mentalities and all of this kind of stuff. Not saying that you got to agree. I never said that you got to agree. What I'm saying is you have to be open to at least listening without you saying, oh, no, that's some gay shit. The minute you said that, you just fucked it up. You'll never be nothing to a man like that on that type of level. You won't. The men that I see coming up in here, picking out dildos and shit, have on suit and ties and shit. That's coming up in this bitch with money. 
And you want to be able to live a certain type of life and have a man to treat you a certain type of way, you're going to have to get out the hood. But as long as you maintain that old hood-ass mentality that everything gay, and this thing, you're going to always be limited because this man going to only be able to do so much for you. One, because he only got so much income, and one, because he only got so much intelligence. So, if y'all want the greater, the better, the more, sometimes you got to be willing to... Change up some different things about yourself and your mentality. And if you ain't into it, don't be into it. That's completely fine. But just understand that you're going to always run into a certain type of man that's limited with his mentality as well. And he only want to do certain shit too. So if you meeting people and they, they stuck in their ways, a lot of times you got to ask yourself, well, shit, am I, do I have these type of hangups? Am I stuck in my ways too? Am I ignorant like that too? Okay, let's see here. Oh, do, 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 do. I don't like labels either. Do, 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 do. You have to be able to be open. You have to be able to be open. Yes, 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 yes. I'll take my time and go back and actually read through a lot of this uh this live, like I said, I know it's been going up and down. And I know sometimes when you start speaking certain truths about certain things, a lot of women be like, oh, I, ain't, I don't want to hear that shit. She, she full of shit. That shit gay. Babe, you can feel however you want to feel. You can't argue with textbook. They, they have definitions for a reason. All of y'all going to school to be nurses and medical and all of this kind of shit. All this shit in your textbooks, read it. It, it explains what all of these different types of sexualities is. Pansexual and homosexual, heterosexual, asexual, bisexual. It tell you what all of this shit is. It tell you. You got some people who think one way in their mind, attracted to one thing with their eyes, and completely uh, dressed completely differently. Meaning, I might think I'm a man. I, I, I'm going to give you an example. The, the, the singer, Prince. Prince did not identify with gender at all. He did not identify with gender. That's why he changed himself to a symbol. He, he was a symbol. He was attracted to women, but liked to wear women's clothing and expressed himself in a more feminine way. But this was a man that was attracted to women. So what did that make him? It made him a heterosexual man. Meaning, I'm attracted to women. I feel like I don't have a gender at all. I'm a symbol, and I dress like a woman. Like, you got to meet people where they at, and you have to be willing to be open to learn from people. Okay. Oh, no. They can never be my doctor or nurse at all. Hell no. No, indeed. I just encourage everybody to get educated. That, that's what I encourage you to do. All right, so now I am about to talk about this wonderful massage candle. I was going to do this demonstration with my husband. I, I really was. But, um, you know, I just feel like some shit just, I have to be mindful. I'm going to just say it like that because some of y'all hoes really be playing too much. Because y'all don't even understand. And half the time y'all think y'all talking to me, talking to me. But anyway, <laughs> with that being said, you know, I, I sometimes I really be wanting to take it and stretch it to the limit, you know, and actually bring y'all into my bedroom. But then sometimes I have to apply the brakes. You know what I'm saying? And be like, you know what? Everything ain't meant for everybody. So with that being said, y'all be just going to get a live demonstration with me. Okay. So quite naturally, this is the massage candle. And it's been burning for quite some time now. As you can see, it's been liquefied. It just started liquefying. Okay. So, a lot of times people have asked me, will this burn? Okay. So, I'm going to blow it out even though it's still hot. Well, I could actually do it with the, uh, the candle burning. I just don't want to melt my damn fingernails because y'all know how it is with that acrylic. When you see that? You see it's dripping? You see it's dripping? That means I'm touching this with my hand while it's still lit. Can you see that? This is on the website under edible massage candle, okay? Because guess what? It is edible, it is a strawberry candle, okay? So, 
what you want to do is now I'm gonna try to be as you know nice as possible about this because you all you know what actually I'm gonna use the spoon because I don't want this running out. I gotta be dressed the whole day. It actually comes with a dipping spoon as well, so that you don't actually, you know, drip too, too, too much. Because keep in mind, this turns into a massage oil, so the more you put all over the body, the more you got to run this, you know, rub it in, okay? Because it turns into a massage oil. So with that being said, if you want, it comes with a dipping spoon, and the instructions will tell you to just use your spoon, right? I don't want to get this on the dress. Now use your spoon and take it and just drizzle it all over the body. Now you see that's drizzled? It's drizzled all over me. You see it? It's drizzled. Now I'm just going to rub that in. You see that? Now I'm going to be all shiny and oiled up all day long. But for the demonstration purposes, I'm completely okay with that. And I would be smelling like strawberries today as well because this is a strawberry candle. Okay. So, as you can see, that rubbed in really, really well. <laughs> any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Okay. So, if you want to take, again, I'm going to do another little demonstration on my arm. I got the spoon doing it. Because, see, one thing about it, the spoon pre-measures it. When you're using the spoon, this candle lasts your ass a fucking year. I'm so serious. Because that's all the oil you need. So you take this and I'm, I'm just dripping it. Because believe it or not, it's a good bit that comes off on this spoon. So when you're taking this candle and you get to pouring it all over the other person, that's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of massage oil that you're utilizing. So this candle, it's a $20 candle. But just keep in mind, this candle going to last you a very, very, very long time. So this candle is a nice investment. What you could do is, you know, this is great for Valentine's Day too. Mm. You can put on some music, you know, you can set the scene, drop the lights, and just take that spoon and just drizzle it. It's all over the body. If you want to take and you want to pour, you can pour and you can rub it in. You can do all of that, however. Now, I done did one arm, and I got to make the other arm match it because this one can't be all shiny and oily, and then the other one not. But again, as you can see, I'm, I'm still playing in this with my finger because I want you to see that it don't burn at all. It don't burn at all. Stop being so scared to try new stuff. Stop being afraid to live your life. Y'all are young. We in an age where we have more information. And when you finish, just blow it out. We are, you're at an age where you have more information than your parents ever had. You have more opportunities than your parents ever had. Our children have more opportunities than we have ever had. So with that being said, stop limiting yourself. Live love, learn, travel, enjoy your life. If it ain't benefiting you and growing you and, and making you a better person in life, let that shit go. Let it go. I don't care if it's your man. I don't care if it's your husband. I don't care if it's your damn mama. If it ain't growing you and if it's toxic to you, let it go. That's what you have to do. Okay? So, yes, you can put it on a private course. This is edible, all natural. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I know they do have a little uh, but if you do that, then it's gonna warm from it's gonna warm the low, meaning that you don't really need the whole candle to actually warm in order to use it. Now, if you want to warm the whole candle, you can, but you don't have to warm the whole candle to use it because you can always go back and rewarm this over and over and over and over again because it's soil wax, so it doesn't burn the skin. Okay. So with that being said, you all be blessed. You all have a wonderful day. Make sure you check out more creations and make sure you check out um, eye candy accessories. And again, this dress came from Plush Boutique. Okay. And y'all be blessed and have a great day. Of course, I'm going to be here at the store working today. So come see me so I can help you get situated for Valentine's Day. I will start taking orders for strawberries on Monday. Um, and the way it goes with my strawberries is you pay when you pick up. You put your order in, but you pay when you pick up. Oh, before I um, let this, this live go, the dance class was so amazing on Sunday. Um, nah, this is the crazy part. I get all these people inbox me about please do another class. 
Then I put it out there that I'm going to do another class this Sunday. And then all of a sudden, the cash out payments start trickling in real slow. It ain't number $200. $20 to come and get that type of lesson that you got. That class should have easily been $50. And I'm going to be honest with you. It should have been $50 easily. She should have at least made that because one thing about it, once you get that type of knowledge with the fundamentals to the perfect lap dance, you got that information the rest of your life and she can't ever get that knowledge back. So with that being said, um, Jean Taylor will be here again this Sunday and she will be teaching again this Sunday. My cash app is dollar sign PPG store. Okay. You need to send your $20 to the cash app and be here on Sunday. Make sure you have a white button down shirt and you'll understand why you need a white button down shirt. Heels are optional, but you have to have a white button down shirt. Okay. All right. See y'all Sunday.